Okay, so hopefully we can end it off on this part here. You know, I've tried to bring out information, documents, but unfortunately, you know, it's never enough to fully convince anybody. And so therefore, I pray through the Spirit of the Most High Yahweh that, you know, the Most High Yahweh will open up the eyes of the people so that they may understand who are their fellow brothers and sisters. Because in these times and in these days, we must understand that Yahweh is putting the tribes together. Of course, we, we may never know which specific tribe that we all come from. But Yahweh is giving us an idea. This is why in these times and in these days, Yahweh says, Blessed be my people Egypt. Blessed be my people Yasharal. And blessed be Assyria, my handiwork. So Yahweh says that the tribe of Dan, they were made to be this way. From the beginning of them setting up their brother and coming up with an evil plan all the way until them coming here to this land and doing what they had to do. Some people may not get over it, but you have to understand that is why they are called Dan, Judge. For the Most High Yahweh created that tribe of people to do what they did to be a judgment, to be a punishment unto other people, unto other nations. And that's what they have done. They have mingled themselves with other, with other nations. They made war within the nations that they mingled in. And so now, the Most High Yahweh is bringing back the family together. Let's go ahead and read this. Britannica.com Barbarian invasions, the movement of Germanic peoples, which began before 200 BCE and lasted until the early Middle Ages, destroying the Western Roman Empire in the process. See that? So just a brief uh, conclusion here. The tribe of Dan, they left Bashan, they went further north after the Assyrian captivity there's no more records of the tribe of Dan. So that means that the majority of the tribe of Dan, they went up north, mixing in with the Germanic peoples, becoming the barbarians, becoming the Visigoths, becoming the Astrogoths, becoming Germanic tribes, which took down the Roman Empire. So you see why the Most High Yahweh created the tribe of Dan to do this here. They were the tribe that, you know, picked up, forget about their brothers, and started mixing in, causing wars. It says, together with the migrations of the Slavs, these events were the formative elements of the distribution of peoples in modern Europe. You see that? This is how the Indo-European nations started. This is how, you know, the Sumerians became the Scythians became, and then later came the Vikings. So this is what the Most High Yahweh said about the tribe of Dan. They will be a snake by the roadside, a viper along the path that bites the horse's heels so that its rider tumbles backwards. The Most High Yahweh created the tribe of Dan to infiltrate other nations, right, and to cause them to fall backwards. That's what they did. They were the Germanic people who took down the Roman Empire. Then later they became the Vikings who would steal the Roman Catholics people gold statues and things like that, right? You see how they had that same spirit. This is what the tribe of Dan did to Micah. They stole Micah's ephod. They stole Micah's household god. And I'm not here condoning this, saying that it's all right for you to go into anybody's house and rob them and things like that. No. But I'm just trying to show you the similarities of the Vikings, of the tribe of Dan, of the Germanic tribes. This is why Yahweh calls Dan the judge, okay? He created that tribe to do just that. Hosea chapter 6, verse 7. As at Adam, they have broken the covenant. They were unfaithful to me there. 
Belit is a city of evil doors stained with footprints of blood. You see that? This goes hand in hand with Jeremiah 8 and 16 again. The snorting of the enemy's horses is heard from Dan. Hosea 6 and 8 again. Galid is a city of evildoers stained with footprints of blood. As marauders or raiders lie in ambush for a victim, so do bands of priests. They murder on the road to Shechem, carrying out their wicked schemes. Okay, so I just want to show you this here, you know. So this part here, when it says, so do bands of priests, they murder on the road to Shechem, carrying out their wicked schemes. Well, you have to understand that some of the people of Dan, they had knowledge of the tabernacle. Let's go ahead and read this here to show you. It says, a holy up of the tribe of Dan assisted Bezaliel of the tribe of Yahawada in building the tabernacle in the wilderness Exodus chapter 31 verse 2 and 6 character appraisals of Dan and tradition appear contradictory one source says that all the children of Dan were idolaters it also says that Dan received the north side whence darkness comes I believe Samson was from the tribe of Dan also and we already know that Samson had long hair, you know. Something that his mother warned him never to cut. Because the angel of Yahweh, you know, warned his mother and his father. And so, just wanted to show you that, okay? Something for you to think about. They had knowledge of, you know, certain things that had to do with the tabernacle. Just like we talked about, you know. The lion, the griffin, the eagle. All right, so again, as marauders lie in ambush for a victim, so do bands of priests. They murder on the road to Shechem, carrying out their wicked schemes. Verse 10, I have seen a horrible thing in Yashara. Their aporium is given to prostitution. Yashara is defiled. Hosea chapter 7, verse 1, whenever I will heal Yashara, the sins of Aparium are exposed in the crimes of Samaria. You see that? The crimes of Samaria. This is why later they become the Samarians. So the crimes of Samaria revealed. They practice deceit. Thieves break into houses. Bandits rob in the street. That's what they do. That's what they did. But they do not realize that I remember all their evil deeds. Their sins engulf them. They are always before me. This is an article from NorwegianSciTechNews.com. Viking raids protected precious artifacts. A bit of British gold stolen in a Viking raid was given a new life when it was used as jewelry and buried with its new Viking owner. And so it says here, a gold object exhumed in 1961 from a Viking grave in a coastal town in Romsdal, central Norway, appears to have been part of a crozier, one from northern England. And so, you know, if you're interested, you can go ahead and read this. I'll leave this in the description box. But we're going to continue with Hosea chapter 7, verse 13. Woe to them, because they have strayed from me. You see that? That's where you have a man. Dan is the lion's cub, leaping, springing forth from Bashan. In other words, they were going to stray from the Most High, you know, going far, far from him, becoming very, very distant. Destruction to them, because they have rebelled against me. I long to redeem them, but they speak about me falsely. It says here, they do not cry out to me from their hearts, but well on their beds. They slash themselves appealing to their gods, right? Odin, Thor, Freya, for grain and new wine, but they turn away from me. Where do you think they learn to worship these false gods? Again, 
we talked about the previous nations they were mingled into their ancestors adopted those Hittite neo Hittite customs you know then later what happened well you know these Hittite gods who had different names in the ancient times well now in the Viking era they become Thor Odin same so-called God different names so this is what happened all right this is why Yahweh says here I trained them and strengthened their arms but they plot evil against me just like they did to their brother Joseph okay now let's read Leviticus chapter 20 verse 2 say to the Yasharalites any Yasharalite or any foreigner residing in Yasharal who sacrifices any of his children to Molech is to be put to death the members of the community are to stone him you see that and furthermore when you read it tells you that Yahweh cuts them off you understand and so this is something that the Viking, the Neo-Hittite nations who believed in these Canaanite gods, this is what they did. They were sacrificing their children, their loved ones to these false gods. Okay? This is the reason why they want you to believe that somebody named Jesus died for the people's sin. They want you to believe that God delights in human sacrifices. But that is not the case. It would never be the case because the Most High does not delight in the death of the wicked. Okay, so furthermore, why the Most High Yahweh will delight in the death of an innocent person, an innocent being? So again, it's right there in your face. You continue to believe the lies if you want to. But Yahweh says here, I myself will set my face against him and will cut him off from his people that's what happened to them they got cut off from their people instead of 13 tribes it became 12 right funny because you know the 13 stripes on the american flag consists of these 13 colonies so right there is trying to show us this is the 13th tribe that came here to scatter this land this is the 13th tribe the people who came here who basically ate up all of the greenery who built up their cities and named it after themselves American you see that you see how it's starting to all make sense so don't mistake this video as I'm trying to be hateful or racist we're just trying to find out the origins of the tribe of Dan this is actually a good thing for you so-called American people. All right? You need to stop trying to be patriotic about being American and start learning about the tribe of Dan. Learn about your origins. You see that? See why it's important for you to know about Yahweh? We're going to read in the book of Enoch. This is chapter 96. We're going to read from verse 6. Woe to you who drink water from every fountain, for suddenly shall ye be consumed and wither away, because ye have forsaken the fountain of life. Woe to you who work on righteousness and deceit and blasphemy. It shall be a memorial against you for evil. You see that? So Yahweh says that he did not forget. He did not forget. Yahweh did not forget the tribe of Dan. Ezekiel 34 and 2, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Yasharal. Prophesy and say to them, This is what the sovereign Yahweh says, Woe to you shepherds of Yasharal, who only take care of yourselves. Should not shepherds take care of the flock? You eat the curds, close yourself with the wool, and slaughter the choice animals, but you do not take care of the flock. You have not strengthened the weak or healed the sick or bound up the injured. You have not brought back the strays or searched for the lost. You have ruled them harshly and brutally. You see that? So stop trusting your government. Come to the Most High Yahweh. For Yahweh says that you are his lost sheep.